All right, I haven't seen a good video on the uh, Furman 1201. Uh, where's the model number at? It's the Furman, the 1201 parallel kit. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube, but nothing really described it real good. So I figure I'll help, uh, hopefully help a few guys out and show you guys how it works and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna get it set up on these two Harbor Freight Predator 3500s. Um, I've, got, I've got a 50 amp camper and uh, one, one generator will run everything. No problem, but it does have two ACs in it, and it won't run both air conditions. They're uh, two 15,000 watt BTU, two 15,000 BTU air conditions, so I want to be able to run both of them in the summertime. So I bought this kit, and it's supposed to hook right up to the Predator with no splicing, no modifications whatsoever. So out of the box, this is what it looks like. It's got a 30 amp hookup there. But for the bigger RVs, it's got a 50 amp hookup right there. You have your 50 amp breaker, your 30 amp breaker, or switch rather. And then all the hardware, it's also got LED lights right here to light the uh, the plugs at night. So that's pretty neat, I thought. Um, also, um, it's got a storage compartment for the wiring. I don't think the Champion has that. So we open that up and there's all the wiring that plugs right into the, the generators. It's all plug and play except for the ground, which is just gonna be a simple 10 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked up and see how it works. So I'm just gonna, the wires go out the back just like this. They have little notches there. So I just set them down in there. One goes this way. Just like that. And then it's intended to just sit down on the ground somewhere in between the generators or whatever, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hook these up. Okay, so apparently these aren't positive and negative. Um, according to the manual, it just says to plug them in. There's no special way. So they plug in real good just like that. And then we have to hook our ground up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook our ground up first just so that the, uh, the parallel cables on top aren't in our way. So this is just a 10 millimeter on this generator here. So we're gonna hook our ground up just like this. This is the only thing you're gonna need a tool for. Get snug, we need to plug in our cables. Okay, we're gonna go over to the other one, do the same thing. Snug, and we'll pull our plugs out and plug in our cables. Now we're ready to have 50 amps to our camper. So we're gonna go ahead and start these things up and let them warm up a couple of minutes. We're gonna check, be sure both of these are off. And then for these predators, we just put them both on start. Start them up. Start this one. Put it on run. Let it warm up for just a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, they're warming up. I'm going to go ahead and plug the camper in. It's our big 50 amp plug right here. We'll cover the plug and just plug it in. And there's no power there because everything's turned off. So we'll safely plug everything in. Just lay it down right there. And at this point, you can go ahead and flip everything on and power the camper. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. Hopefully they're warm enough to pull them down too hard. So we're gonna flip it on. They both, they both kicked up a little bit. We'll look at our amperage right here. 123 volts, pulling 2.4 amps off of that one. Pulling 1.9 amps off of this one here. So now I'm gonna go in and turn one AC on. bedroom AC, so here comes one 15,000 watt, one 15,000 BTU air condition. Pull in. Okay, it's on, pulling eight amps off of this one. And we're 
we're pulling 7 8.2 amps of this one. So they're splitting below. So if we had just one generator running, we'd be pulling right at 16 amps right there. So let me go and check and be sure the compressor is on. So, okay, so yeah, the compressor's running in the bedroom. So we're pulling 8.2 off of this one, and we're pulling 8.4 off of this one. So the parallel kit is doing its thing. It's splitting the difference. Now I've got my son turning on the other air conditioner. So now we're going to be pulling both air conditions. Let's focus here. We'll see a, we'll see a spike in just a second. Oh. Now we're pulling 13 amps off of this, 14 amps off of this one. And about the same on that one. So that's 28, 28 amps right now, which is, which is it exceeds the maximum of one generator it's uh right up here 25 amps total maximum so now we got it both hooked up we can run the whole camper both acs water here microwave i'm gonna go put the microwave on keep focusing on one of these here with two ACs. Now we're pulling 20 amp, 19 amps off this one. Off this one. 20 amps. Okay, so there we have both ACs running, both refrigerators, the microwave, the lights are all on, and we still have, we still have a, uh, what do we have here? pulling 20 amps off each one so we still have another five amps of the actual 10 amps of available power that we're not going to need everything everything's on that can't be on so hopefully this uh clears up some of the questions a lot of people have on the Furman 1201 this is the Furman 1201 50 amp uh parallel kit it's available on amazon i think i paid 100 bucks for it um don't quote me on the price do your own research they're easy to find but they're a great kit as you see Everything just plugs right in and it just works. There's no splicing, there's no nothing. It's neat, really like it. And you can see here, there's the LED lights on the kit. I'm sure they'll be real bright at night. They're aimed straight up so that you can see what you're doing. But uh, go ahead and back up to the shot of everything. But that's, that's the Furman 1201.